The robot you have seen here on stage is the third generation of this famous robot, Asimo. The first generation was presented in Japan in 2000. The second generation was presented in 2005. And recently, in July this year, we presented for Europe, Middle East and Africa the third generation of this famous robot. This is the very first appearance of this generation in Dubai and moreover in the Middle East. This, so what we are trying to do here on this little stage is uh, to show people a bit the, all the capabilities uh, of this robot. The reaction of the public here is really interesting because it's a high level event and uh, the people are always asking very accurate questions. It's very interesting for us to be here. We are learning, learning a lot from uh, people's reactions. Honda's study of human walking gave birth to walking assist devices. This stride management asset is a lightweight wearable device suited to people with weakened muscles. The research on human walking began in 1986 and the next major challenge for engineers and scientists uh, is to create a machine able to learn by its own experiences, learn by itself. For the moment ASIMO is not a product, it, it is a research platform, but one day when ASIMO will be advanced enough and intelligent enough, uh, a machine like this should be very useful to help people in their daily lives. And I'm thinking about, for instance, elderly people. Uh, a machine like that could help elderly people to stay home longer because someone or something will be able to look after them. Yes, uh, we often have this kind of question, uh, when do the robot will take over the world? The problem is not technology, the problem is human being technolo the behind technologies. I mean, the best technology, if it is used for good things, it is fine. But sometimes, and very often, sadly, uh, humans are using technology for bad things. Let's shake hands. We are really happy to be here in Dubai. We have the chance to showcase Honda technology to many, many people here at the government summit. And we, have, we are very pleased to be invited by the Prime Minister's office. Thank you very much. Thank you.